cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Oh, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. Of my Talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. So I wanted to come here on the podcast to just clear the air on Tevin Jenkins. Obviously, if you guys seen my post on the community page on YouTube, you guys will already know that Tevin Jenkins did report to practice today, and this was his very first training camp practice for the Chicago Bears. And obviously, we've talked so much about Tevin Jenkins already um, during this first week and a half of training camp, as there has been so many different rumors swirling around Tevin Jenkins. But the good news is that he reported, uh, finally came to training camp and practice, practice today for the Chicago Bears. And he even spoke to the media after practice. And he really cleared up a whole lot of rumors. So some of the things that he stated in his in his press conference is, one, he didn't disclose his injury. And when they asked him about his injury, he said, I've been in the training room trying to better get better health wise. So didn't disclose injury. So we don't know if it's more of a personal issue, maybe like mental health. Hopefully that's not the case. Or if he just has like a little lingering issue, maybe in his back, we don't know any of that um, because he is not disclosing the injury at this time. The second thing that stuck out in his press conference is uh, he stated that any reports saying he clashed with the coaches are absolutely not true. He then states this, I love the coaches. We have no animosity towards each other. We talk to each other every day. So that is absolutely really good to hear because obviously that was one of the rumors going around saying that the reason why the Bears were putting Tim and Jenkins on the trade block was because he was clashing with the coaches, especially the offensive line coach, Chris Morgan for the Chicago Bears. So it's really good to hear um, that he cleared up those rumors. Rumors And another thing that really stuck out to me in Tevin Jenkins' press conference is that he believes that he has received a fair chance in Chicago and he even reiterated how much um, he loves Chicago and he wants to be a Chicago Bear. So he's basically smashing all those rumors that we heard um, from the Chicago media, which is really nice to hear because like I said, obviously I came on here a couple of days ago and I was basically... um, Digging into Tevin Jenkins um, because of these rumors that that I was hearing. Obviously, you can't believe everything that you hear or see um, as it pertains to social media because that's that's rumors. Obviously, you can't believe every single rumor. But the reason why I was so frustrated because is because it seemed to me that Tevin Jenkins wasn't all in. And and that frustrated me because it's like, if you want to be a Chicago Bear, then you need to come to work. So it's really good that Tevin Jenkins basically squashed all those all these rumors, right? And and I believe him um, and that basically he was just in the training room um, trying to get better health wise. I would really like to know what the injury is. Um, hopefully we can find that out soon, but it's really nice to hear and see Tevin Jenkins at practice today and basically have him squash all the rumors. The funny thing about this whole situation is, is before Tevin Jenkins reported to practice today, yesterday in his press conference, offensive coordinator Luke Getze, um, said that Tevin Jenkins has been all in during Bears meetings. Um, and when he gets back, he is in the mix for the starting uh, left tackle or right tackle job. This is what Luke Getzey had to say in his press conference yesterday. Oh yeah, Tevin has been great. He's been attentive. He's all in. Yeah, once he gets through this deal, he'll be back out there ready to rock and roll. And basically, when I listen to that, it's really nice to hear that he is all in. And that was one of, like I said, that was one of my big concerns when I came on the podcast the other day and was ranting about Tevin Jenkins. I need him to be all in and I want him to want to be a Chicago Bear, which he said in his press conference today that he wants to be a Chicago Bear. And then obviously coming from Luke Getze, he is all in. He's been in in, Bear, in the Bears meetings, I'm in offensive meetings, uh, being being focused, and he's all in on the Chicago Bears plan. So that makes me really happy. Once again, the only thing that concerns me is what is the injury? 
Just like I just mentioned in Luke Getty's statement, he said, once he gets through this deal, what is the deal? Is it a personal matter? Is it, once again, is it a ling lingering injury? Hopefully we can find out what is going on with Tevin Jenkins injury-wise pretty soon. But like I said, I would love for the Bears to keep Tevin Jenkins. I'm hoping that rumors, those rumors were false, which it sounds like they are. Um, and if Tevin Jenkins remains a Bear, I think that makes our offensive line better. Obviously, he still has to come out and prove it. He has to come out and prove that he deserves a starting spot. Um, but obviously, with pads on, I think Tevin Jenkins can take over. I think that aggressive, athletic nature... Um, the reasons why the Chicago Bears drafted Tevin Jenkins last year um, will hopefully showcase um, as he starts getting more and more team reps. Obviously, now, since he's missed so much time in these uh, first week and a half of training camp practices, he's got to go through a ramp up period. Um, but by the sounds of it, the Bears are nowhere close um, in figuring out their starting five offensive line. So and just like Luke Getty mentioned, he will have every chance to compete. Um, to be part of the starting five as it pertains to, to the Chicago Bears offensive line. So let me ask you guys this. Do you guys still feel that Tevin Jenkins has a chance to start on this offensive line? Let me know down below in the comment section. But other than that, it feels really good um, that some of these rumors were squashed and that Tevin Jenkins is now back and practicing for the Chicago Bears. So as the news comes, and hopefully we get some more news on what his injury actually is, I'll update you guys right here on the podcast. Um, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Geek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for an all-new Bears podcast right here on Geek on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go 